All right, today we're going to have an interesting shootout. We're going to do three tubes. We're going to do a GE 12 AY7 6072 gray plate square getter preamp tube. We're going to do a Raytheon CK5751 5751. It's got black plates, a triple mica, and also has a top square getter. And then we're going to go against the 12x7 RCA that I normally run in this amp. All three of these are 12x7 type tubes to all run in Fender amps, Mesa, any any 12x7. Let's start out here with the 12AY7. All right, in V1. Let's go at it, folks. Here we go. Alright, that was the 12AY7. Works perfect. Sounds good. It's got a nice crunch to it. I'm going to pull this out. <sighs> Tough one to pull out. I have to show it pulling out the tubes and putting tubes in because several people have asked to see that because they don't think that I'm really actually changing tubes. All right, now we're going to shoot up the Raytheon 5751, which is a, a low mu triad of, in the 12 AX7 family. Uh, the, a lot of Fender amps use the 12 AY7 and 5751 also for a much cleaner stage. I'm going to fire this bad boy up now. This is the uh, Raytheon Black Plate 5751. <laughs> smooth distortion don't it all right now let's gonna go for the 12 ax 7 a RCA gray plate that I always run in this amp that Raytheon is pretty killer tube you got you make the call I think the 5751 had a more grittier tube sound than the the 12 ay7 now we're gonna i've changed no settings on the app as you see we got the 12 x 7 a rca in there now and let's go for this one <laughs> RCA 12AX7A. Very interesting to hear all three different tubes. The 12AX7A RCA was definitely smooth uh, on the distortion, as was the 12AY7. The 5751 was a rocking tube. You guys make the call. Let me know in the comments what you think. Y'all have a wonderful day. Like and subscribe and enjoy it.